Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming to you from my master bathroom. I'm gonna show you all about my hair care routine. I've been getting so many requests for this. So I thought I would just switch it up from makeup and just go through the whole process with you of my hair from um, what I use for shampoo to styling products to how I style it after I blow dry. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I just took a shower and washed my hair with the L'Oreal El Viv Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the Extraordinary Oil version. I got this last summer when we were on vacation. We were at our house at the Jersey Shore and um, I forgot to bring my own shampoo and conditioner. So I ran out to CVS one day and just grabbed this because it sounded interesting and I ended up falling in love with it. So I've repurchased it several times and um, it just has the nicest smell too. It's not that typical fruity floral um, shampoo scent. It has sort of more of a warm, cozy scent, which I really like. And it just makes my hair feel really soft and silky and smooth and it doesn't weigh it down. So I really love this stuff. And then um, I put my hair up in this towel. It's one of those towels that sucks all the moisture right out of your hair. So you have to spend less time drying it. And I've had this towel now Oh my gosh, my mom gave it to me, I think when I was 20 or 21. It was when I still lived with my parents. So that's how old this towel is. It's almost 20 years old at this point. So that's kind of crazy, um, but it's held up really well and I have no complaints. I just, you know, I don't wash my hair every single day. So on off days, I'll throw it in the wash and, you know, reuse it again and it's been awesome. So while my hair's up in the towel is when I usually do my makeup really fast and then um, I spray this spray in. It's the L'Oreal Blow Dry It Quick Dry Primer Spray. I promise this isn't a L'Oreal commercial, by the way. Um, it just so happens that I use a lot of their hair products. Um, so this is supposed to cut the drying time and it actually really does and it also um, is heat protectant and it helps just to make my hair smooth. It's very lightweight too. So again, if you have fine hair that gets weighed down easily, you shouldn't have any issues with this at all. So um, I just go ahead and spray this all over before I comb it out and it kind of just helps to um, make my hair comb out a little easier as well in case it's like super knotty. And then I just go ahead and comb everything out. I just have this like vent brush from Goody. Uh, it's just a drugstore brush again, nothing too fancy. And I just try to be, you know, a little careful because your hair can break really easily when it's wet. It's actually better to start at the bottom and then work up if you get tangles. And then the next step is to use the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Fresh Cut Split End Mender. I talked about this in my Sephora VIB sale video. I've really been liking this. It's just sort of a lightweight lotion. I only put a little bit, like maybe that much, and rub it between my hands and only use it on the ends of my hair um, because that's really where I need it and that's where your split ends are. So uh, I don't bother putting it up here, especially because it'll get, you know, weighed down. So the less products I have in the roots of my hair, the better. I just go ahead and sort of run that all through. So next I dry my hair and I have the T3 Featherweight Hair Dryer. Normally this is a lot more than I would ever pay for a hair dryer. I used to just use one that I got from Target, but QVC sent this to me back in the fall, I think. So this is what I've been using. I don't notice that it dries my hair any faster than the one that I had before did, but it is very lightweight and um, it's quiet. So that's what I like about it. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and dry my hair. So when I'm drying my hair, what I do is I flop it all over to the opposite side of where I usually part it. That way it helps to add a little bit of volume and I definitely flip back and forth, but I dry a lot of it going this way first. I used to flip my head over upside down, but I found that it created a little bit of a rough texture and some frizz. So I try to keep the dryer pointing down the hair shaft as much as I can so it doesn't get all roughed up and fuzzy. 
I also rough dry my hair the entire way through so what I used to do is blow it out with a round brush and I found that it took a lot longer it hurt my arm and at the end of the day I still ended up using a curling iron or a flat iron afterwards so I decided it's much faster to just rough dry it with my fingers and get it done as quickly as possible and then that way I can style it afterwards with whatever hot tool I want to use and then the last thing that I make sure to pay attention to when I'm drying my hair is that I dry it all the way 100% and don't leave any moisture in there because if I do, it always ends up getting frizzy throughout the day. So that's just something that I've discovered over the years that I have to make sure it's 100% dry. So then once my hair is dry, I go in with a hot tool. I either use a straightening iron, a curling iron, or my favorite is the huge two inch barrel curling iron. And this doesn't really curl my hair because the barrel is so large. It just gives volume and sort of a little bit of bend at the end. Kind of similar to if you were gonna use big Velcro rollers or hot rollers, which I am terrible at. I've tried using rollers so many times and my hair always ends up looking so crazy. I hate it. So I discovered this at Ulta and haven't gone back. I think it gives that perfect, like just big voluminous hair with, like I said, just a little bend at the end. So my hair looks pretty much straight. And actually when I had shorter hair, I used to have more of like a long bob. And uh, instead of using a blow dryer and a round brush and sit there and try to do it, I would just rough dry my hair like I did today and then use this. And it, it didn't really give any curl at all. It just gave me that slight bend under that I was looking for. So I think if you have maybe like your hair is maybe to your shoulders or longer, you could use this style. Um, and the longer your hair, the more curl this will give you. So what I do is I put up the top layer and I don't do really small sections with this either. So um, it doesn't take me all that long. What I just put up the top of my hair in like one of these old style clips. And then I just go ahead and I tend to start at the middle of my hair, slide it down, leave just a little bit of the end sticking out and then roll it up toward my head like I would if I was using a hot roller. Hold it there for a minute and then let it go. So it just gives a little bend at the bottom and that actually doesn't even stay that much. It definitely loosens out over time. And then I'll just go in again. Same thing, I usually hold it for like five to 10 seconds. I don't wanna completely burn my hair because again, I have sort of finer, thinner hair and um, it depends. If you have thicker hair, I think you can leave the iron sitting there for longer. Okay, so let's just speed up the video a little bit so it's not taking forever. So um, what I'm doing is just grabbing large sections of hair and curling them back away from my face vertically. And with this larger curling iron, I like to get right up close to the root area so that it adds a lot of volume. If I'm using a smaller curling iron, I don't like to do that, but with this one, it's okay. Okay, so now my hair is all curled and then I go in with the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Nightcap Overnight Protector, which I also talked about in my Sephora VIB sale video. Um, this technically you're supposed to use overnight, but I love just the polish that it gives my hair. It's a light lotion like this. I just use a pea size amount and rub it between my fingers. And then I just sort of fluff up what I just did, break up the curls a little bit. Um, put this mainly again mid shaft to ends. So yeah, this is how it comes out. Um, so the iron just basically just gives, like I said, a little bit of bend and volume to my hair without making it wavy or curly. So I love this for every day. Usually if I'm going out or just want to switch things up, I'll put a little bit more of a wave to my hair with a smaller barrel curling iron. But um, I just love how this kind of gives the look of a blowout without actually having to sit there with the round brush and the dryer. So anyway, that's my hair tutorial. That's pretty much what I do every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. What are your favorite hair products? Please let me know and I will see you guys in the next one.